Time to stretch. First, let's do hamstrings. Sit nice and tall. Straighten one leg, heel on the floor, toes up. Lean on the other leg. And then lean forward until you feel a good stretch. If you can reach, you can grab the foot. Otherwise, stay here. 30 seconds. Slow, deep breaths during the stretch. Try to relax the knee just a little bit. And exhale as you push a little bit further into the stretch. Easy, push yourself back up, switch, we'll do the other leg. 30 seconds, lean forward, here we go. Slow and controlled breathing, you might find that you're a little stretchier on one side than the other. That's pretty typical. further if you can. And then relax, push yourself up. Okay, we're going to get the feet and hip, outer thigh, cross one ankle over the opposite knee. Same thing, lean forward here, 30 seconds. One test of flexibility too is to see if your shin in this position is mostly parallel to the floor or if your knee is a little bit tipped up towards your chest, you can gently push that knee down. Don't force it, but that's a goal. That's a good test of flexibility. And then relax. If you have time, you can always hold the stretches longer than this, just to keep the video from being too long. We're doing 30 seconds each. All right, other side. Lean forward. Again, check C. I'm a little stretchier on this side, a little more flexibility. So this knee goes lower. out of that. All right, this next one, you need to make sure that you have a chair with a back and that it's nice and sturdy. We're going to stretch the front of the thigh and the front of the hip. So you're going to sit nice and tall in your chair. I want you to turn to your left and then grab the back of the chair with your left hand, wherever you can for stability. Now I want your left hip on the chair and your right hip hanging off and then take your right leg and stretch it back behind you until you're in a lunge position, but you're supported by the chair. So this is a great way. Let me start the timer. All right, straighten that leg as much as you can. If you can't, it's okay. You're gonna feel a stretch. So find the stretch and then hold there. Exhale a little deeper if you can, but this is a great way to get into a deep lunge without holding the lunge using your muscles because you have help from the chair, allowing us to get into this extended position. When it beeps, I'm going to show you a way to make this deeper as an option if you need it. So if this is no big deal, all right, there's your beep. You can come out of it, but if you want, you can take your right arm, reach it up for the ceiling, and even lean back, tip your chest up toward the ceiling, look up a little bit, and then that takes that stretch all the way up the chain. All right, pull that leg back in carefully, spin around to the other side. Right hip is on the chair, right hand grips the chair, left leg extend it back. And then here's your 30 seconds. Now, I didn't say this on the other side, but try to straighten everything out so your hips are even and facing forward. Knee is pointed downward, toes are pointed down. And you can try that variation. If this is no big deal, you can try that variation where you reach your arm up toward the ceiling, lean back. It deepens the stretch, that's optional. You might be, feel, uh, feel plenty of stretch right here.
and then gently pull that leg in and then turn around to face front. Okay, done with those lower body exercises. Let's do shoulders. I want you to reach your left arm across the body, grab it with your right hand, gently pull it across, hold here, 30 seconds. We will do two exercises for your left arm, or two stretches, and then repeat those on the other side. This is getting into the shoulder and upper back. And relax, shake that out. Now take that left arm, reach it up toward the ceiling, right by your ear. Now bend the elbow, pat yourself on the back. You're gonna reach that elbow toward the sky. You can use the right hand to push it, pull it. Some people like to do that. Sometimes I like to just reach that up toward the ceiling or use the other hand to help get into there. So you're gonna get into triceps, down into the armpit area, down into the rib cage area. And this helps us to get our hands behind our backs so that we can <laughs> zip a dress or button something back there, whatever. We lose the ability to get our arm, our hands way that back behind our necks. And relax, shake that out. Okay, repeating on the other side, first shoulder stretch, reach across the body with your right arm. Grab it with your left hand, gently pull it in. A big part of flexibility is breathing, taking some good inhales and then deepening the stretch on the exhale. And here's your beat. Triceps, right arm up toward the sky. Bend your elbow, pat yourself on the back, and then use the opposite hand if you want to deepen the stretch. Here's your beat. I have more range of motion on one side than the other, and that's pretty common. We have a strong side, but also if we've had any injuries at all, that creates an imbalance. Sometimes do a little bit longer on the side that's not as flexible or do it more often. 30 seconds is about the bare minimum of how long we should hold a stretch. In a perfect world, relax. We might do 45 seconds up to a minute. Okay, I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna do a chest stretch. Scoot forward to the edge of your chair reach back grab the back of the chair with both hands thumbs down and then you're going to push your chest forward and up here we go shoulder blades pull together chest is open press your chest forward up you can look up you can look forward find a spot that you might like feeling a stretch in your neck on this or you might not so i want you to just do some whatever's comfortable as far as your neck is concerned right now out of that stretch. All right, let's do neck. Okay, I want you to take your left hand, grab underneath the chair, and then pull upward, like you're trying to lift yourself up, which obviously you can't. Then drop your right ear toward your right shoulder. Now pull on the bottom of the chair and then take your left ear, reach it toward the ceiling. The reason you reach that ear up is that you get some length in the side of the neck there. I forgot to start my timer. So we deepen that stretch without crunching down toward the shoulder. Instead, we go long. And then reach it there. find myself doing shallow breathing. Relax. Move your head side to side. Say no. Um, I also get asked this all the time. If you hear some crackling noises, 
If there's pain, it might be something to look at. If there's no pain, it can be very, very typical and it should not be cause for concern. Other side, take your right hand, grab the bottom of the chair, pull yourself up like you're trying to lift the chair off the ground. Drop your left ear toward your left shoulder and then take your right ear, reach it up toward the ceiling. Here we go, 30 seconds. This side is tighter for me. Definitely focus on breathing. And relax. All right, sit nice and tall. This time I want you to look up and down. So say an exaggerated yes with your head. Up and down, up and down. Don't hold yet. Easing into that stretch. And now I want you to look up and then take your chin and reach it for the ceiling. So again, lifting, lengthening. Stretch through the front of the neck. We look down a lot throughout the day. If it feels difficult to do this, that's partly why. If 30 seconds is too long for anything, you just come out of it sooner. You could go back in again and do a short second set if you have time. And relax. Now I want you to drop your chin toward your chest. But again, seeking length, I want you to take, as your chin is tucked toward your chest, take the back of your head, reach it toward the ceiling and hold. and relax move your head around a little bit just to relax we're going to do one more thing for the shoulders this is a little bit of moving stretch um, for mobility so i want you to <laughs> like what am i doing i want you to rest your fingertips on your shoulder caps i want you to tap your elbows together in front now draw big circles with the elbows and then tap them together each time in front. Let's do eight more. Seven, big range of motion. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax here, take one deep breath in, arms overhead. And exhale, arms down. All done.